Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel. Today I'm going to play Fisher's Hornpipe. <laughs> Hornpipe is one of the best known of all fiddle tunes. It was published in England in 1780 by James Fischer with an A and he was possibly German in origin and is said to have been a friend of Mozart. Uh, he was a composer and was living in England and it immediately became very popular and it, by 1783 it had been published in America and I think it's now largely considered an American tune rather than a, an English one. Um, so it's called a hornpipe and this is an interesting story because uh, hornpipes in England uh, had a specific dance and um, a well there were various different feels but the main feel for a hornpipe was the dotted feel so it would have been played like this <laughs> And uh, so that's, that's how it would originally have been, um, quite slow and steady and the, um, at the end of each line is a dancing thing, uh, I presume it's for, da for stamping the feet at the end of the line. And uh, the fact that that remains certainly at the end of the second section um, proves that this was originally a hornpipe. And, and the name, um, Fisher's Hornpipe, obviously says it was a hornpipe. But when hornpipes went to America, they mostly turned into what's called breakdowns, so they were played faster. The dotted rhythm largely disappeared and they acquired probably quite a lot more open string drones and uh, occasional double stops for the American style. So we're going to play through the tune slowly, then we'll play it a bit faster and we'll then look at uh, the bowing and any bits of ornamentation that we might want to put in. So, first of all, let's play the first line and then we'll do it with the music. So we're going to start with an up bow. Starts, second finger, third finger. with some backing. sometimes called saw stroke, so it would sound like this. And that's not bad, uh, particularly I think if it's played quite fast, that would sound reasonable. But 
but it's a bit unremitting and <laughs> unforgiving. So I think most bars should have some slurs. And what I've written out here is a pattern which goes almost all through the tune, and it's basically five notes separate, and then five notes slurred up. pretty well, although again it becomes a bit predictable doing that, but you can do that all the way through and it's a good idea when you're learning a new bowing pattern to try and do something all the way through a tune, just so you can really get used to it. If you wanted to put an accent on the first and the fifth notes of each bar, then you could do a down and three ups. That would in fact be pretty much the Georgia Shuffle. Uh, and that's, so that's putting the accent on 1 and 5. Um, if you wanted to put the accent on the off beats, uh, then you could do the same 3 and 1 bowing but starting in a different place. So if you, if you do your down on the third note, yeah. That's the more regular way to use the George bow to accent the, the offbeat. So what I would normally do is to do a mixture of those different bowings, um, just so I provide variety and each phrase will suggest to me whether it wants one kind of bowing or another. To be honest, it's not something I give very much thought to when I'm actually uh, playing or performing. Um, and that is your long-term goal, that you can you spend a lot of time thinking about it and eventually you don't think about it at all. So let's try, um, I'll do it three times round to finish and uh, I'll put some variation in as I'm going along. Probably a few triplets and some open string drones, which reminds me that um, one way of getting open string drones is to uh, just press down harder. Um, so whenever you press down hard, then both strings are going to be uh, bowed rather than just one string. And uh, the way that I've written it, I've written in some um, open string drones there. And if you just put an accent on each of those, that's, that's one way of doing it. Um, but you don't have to do that. So, uh, three times around to finish. If you want a copy of the dots and of the, the simple bowing pattern, then uh, subscribe, send me an email and I'll send you a copy. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again soon.